What is going on, my beautiful people? Welcome back. What is going on, my beautiful people? And welcome back to me messing up the intro every single time. Look, we're not doing a reaction video today. I am reacting to something that I have watched about a few times now from different uh, creators. Stay there, please. Uh, you see my Captain America shield. Hopefully, you kind of an idea what's happening. November 11th, uh, Wakanda Forever is coming out. Um, that is also two days before our vow renewal. Just throwing it out there. Um, but I do want to talk about something um, that's kind of been stirring around the internet lately. It's really bothering me um, for multiple reasons. And it's, it's legitimately, in my opinion, doing the opposite of what you want to do for a movie. And, th and that is, there are some activists on the internet who are saying that if you are white, you are not allowed to go see Black Panther on opening weekend. And if you do, you're anti-black. My wife and I have plans to go see it. My, my wife is mixed. I am a very, 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 very <laughs> white uh, German Latino. <laughs> uh, so it's weird to say that <laughs> but uh, so that being said going off of what these people are saying half of my wife's not allowed to go and uh, half of half of me a little, a little over half of me is not allowed to go so <laughs> um, it's, it's very very strange uh, what they're saying is if you have tickets and you are white, uh, to give them to, uh, and, and they, they really point out this person specifically points out, um, to give them to a black person or a black family who cannot afford to get tickets. Um, I will watch Tyrone Magnus, uh, West side. Um, I think Tyrone Magnus is the one who said, you know, I'm gonna go buy my own ticket. Like, I'm not taking tickets from somebody else. Um, and for me, it's not even that. It's the fact, the audacity of we're in 2022. We're still in this war. Um, this war that is just very odd. Very, very odd. Um, we're, we're, we're picking things that are not real. We're picking things that are fantasy. We're picking things that are movies, comics, books. Um games and we're bringing it into this this war of the activist I'm gonna call it that because there's not a single person I know <laughs> that I know of that agrees with anything that's going on right now with that kind of stuff um, this movie was not made for any particular person of any color um, of any race, of any nationality. This movie was made as a form of entertainment and as a tribute to the late Chadwick Boseman. And to say somebody of a different color, of a specific color at that, is not allowed to go to opening weekend, uh, that kind of defeats the purpose of everything that I feel like people are trying to fight for right now and um, trying to make a difference and trying to make a stand. And, and one of my favorite things that I've ever heard uh, was from Morgan Freeman talking about, you know, don't call me a black man, I won't call you a white man. You know, we're just people. I'm Morgan Freeman, you know. This is kind of a, a side tangent real quick. I've never really, like, I, I've always appreciated and I've always wanted to know more about my um, Hispanic roots, but, um, like even my dad, my dad doesn't really know much, uh, cause my grandpa never really enforced that on his kids. So my dad didn't really learn it a whole lot. Um, and me being from a, me being raised by my mom more than my dad, um, my mom didn't know anything. So, uh, I ended up getting the uh, military family treatment, <laughs> uh, more than anything else. But, uh, but it's just sad where we're at now in this world. Um, we, we are in a sense backsliding. Um, 
I don't remember seeing anybody, and maybe I'm wrong, because I, I, I was listening to a, a post. It was something like when Woman King came out not so long ago, uh, they were saying if you don't go see this movie, you know, you're the problem. If you go see this movie, if you go see Wakanda Forever, you're the problem. So it just bothers me. And my wife has a very interesting view. And my friend Jordan, they're both mixed. Um, they both get uh, treated a little bit unfairly, in my opinion. Um, I hope he doesn't mind me saying this. But he basically, in a sense, if you look at him, he looks more Hispanic than he does black but he has no hispanic in him he, he is white and uh white and black and uh he was told on a recent photo uh, video shoot that he uh they weren't going to use him or any they weren't they weren't going to use any of the footage they shot with him because he didn't fit what they wanted they wanted a real black man and that really hurt him and it's kind of the same narrative in a sense you know who are we to say who has the right and doesn't have the right to do something based off the color of their skin? Because skin color doesn't dictate, you know, origin. Skin color doesn't take it, dictate who the person is. And that's always been a fight. And it's something we, I feel like there's been a good chunk of people, and that's how I was raised. Um, you don't, you know, you, you don't judge off of skin color for a long time long time I did not see color until the world was like yo there's color and then you kind of have to see it but you don't have to acknowledge it and that sounds that's don't take it the wrong way you do not have to do what the world is doing by acknowledging it negatively I acknowledge it by saying I have friends who are different skin color than me. And I know those friends sometimes face, they could face issues due to what the world is giving them. Um, and that that's, that's the truth. And I, I will never stand here and say that that friend can't do this. In fact, I'm the dude, <laughs> I'm the dude who constantly is writing roles for uh, actors of color, and I can't find them because I, I live I live in Missouri. You know, Missouri is a predominantly white state, and I can't find anybody of color half the time. Um, we're now to the point where, uh, in my area, we finally have uh, a collective. It's a Mosaic Arts Council. It, their job, their goal, and they're very sweet and nice people and very supportive. Their goal is to get work for people of color. People of all color, you know, they're currently doing, currently doing the color purple. They're getting ready to do that show and they've been having a hard time finding actors for it. And I'm over here in the sidelines like, man, I really want to do the show, but I, I know I can't because the show isn't about me. That does not mean anywhere that I can't go see the show or help with the show in some way. Even though Wakanda forever, the story is about Wakanda. That does not mean I am not allowed to go and enjoy it. That is not that does not mean that I am not allowed to go and you know give my respects to Chadwick Boseman because that's what this movie is. It is a tribute to the late great Chadwick Boseman. And it bothers me. I'm worried. One of my favorite Marvel characters, this guy right here, this dude, is getting his own movie in phase five. I'm worried that it's gonna happen again. Like, when Sam became Captain America, I was so excited. So excited. I love Steve Rogers, but I love Sam Wilson. And I am excited for his solo movie. I don't want somebody telling me I can't go see it. I am excited for Wakanda Forever. And I'm going to go see it and enjoy it with my wife. And no one's going to stop me from doing that. No one's going to tell me that I am a problem because I'm going to go enjoy something that somebody created for somebody who I enjoy like that. That doesn't make any sense to me. And this isn't about black lives matter or, um, 
about a race issue. This is about somebody trying to cause a problem during this time, this, this event that's supposed to celebrate the life of a, of a man, a character. And they're trying to get a rise out of people for it. And they're trying to get their name out there. You know, that that's what you do when you're a toxic individual. That's what you do when you have nothing else to give to the world. You're going to grab onto the, the biggest thing that's happening right now. And you're going to cause drama. She has nothing to do with the production. She has nothing to do with anything with Black Panther. And I saw a comment on another video and it said, I have a feeling that we do what they say, the movie fails, and then they're going to turn around and say, why weren't you there to support the movie? So this person has no intent to protect the movie. It's not, it's not about the people. It's not about anybody she's trying to say that it's about. It's all about her getting the attention to push her narrative. That's what it's about. So that's why I'm not reading the article. I've seen Tyrone Magnus react to it, West Side react to it, a couple other people. One guy I didn't really care for. Like he's a, I was like, okay, you got a good point. And then all of a sudden he started getting very negative, and I was like, are you, are you even for, <laughs> are you even for this movie? <laughs> so I just want to share my thoughts. Um, if you did not know from what I just said, I am I am German. I am. Uh, I'm German, Irish, and uh, Latino. Um, my family on my dad's side um, are from Mexico. Um, down the line, my grandpa grew up here. Um, my grandpa is full. My dad is half, and I am. I'm like between like thirty and twenty five percent, and that's not a huge amount, but that's still enough to where I feel like I have the right to say I. I'm proud to have that a part of me, uh, even though my mom, <laughs> my mom comes over with her Irish and German and it's like, ah, uh, you know, now you got this white fluffy dude, uh, <laughs> who sometimes sounds like he, he does have some sort of accent or inflictions in his voice. Um, but no, I, it kills me. It, it really does for multiple reasons. Uh, my wife has gone through prejudice of her being not black enough, not white enough. A good friend of mine goes through that as an actor um, for a long time. I felt like parts of my wife's family didn't like me because of the color of my skin without even getting to know me. And the fact is they all love me now Got going down there and spending time with them. They, they, they consider me uh, a part of the family and uh, I've got an older brother um, you know, I say through, through Christ because, you know, we weren't, we weren't born from the same mom, but he's my older brother. Um, he, he's Jamaican and that dude doesn't give two flying Fs about what anybody says. <laughs> um, uh, you know, if I, if I, if I talk to him about this, he'd be telling me to like, just shake them off and just go to the movie. Um, you know, I have, I have, I have several people who I consider family, um, that that do not support this kind of mentality and it just it just bothers me that there's somebody in the world who's like I'm going to capitalize on this special event and alienate two groups of people think about that think about that maybe even more but you're alienating black people by saying that they have to have their white friend get them tickets and their white friends have to protect them at the door to make sure they can watch a movie in peace. And then you're hearing white people saying that they're not good enough or they're not allowed to go enjoy this film opening weekend because they're a problem. So they need to stand there and protect the black people inside. And what's sad is there are people who actually do agree with there was a there was a movie critic who gave up their ticket to go see um uh, maybe not the world premiere, but definitely like one of the screenings afterwards. Like, think about that, man. That's your livelihood is to go and review the movie and you give it up because some influencer on Instagram or TikTok was like, Hey, you're white. You have no right to go see this movie. That, <laughs> that, that just, 
that baffles my brain. Like, it really does. Um, I know I look stupid with this, by the way. This is part of my Captain America cosplay. <laughs> and we're, we're about to do a, a Marvel thing. And so I wanted to to wear it today. So it's just coincidence. But uh, no, it, just, it, it bugs me. It, it really does. Black Panther is one of my wife's favorite Marvel movies. Shuri's one of her favorite characters. And to have some random person on the internet trying to cause drama between people in a time that we need to be more united than ever. Just, it floors me, man. It floors me. But... Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you care, let me know in the comments below if you agree with me. Maybe maybe you are on the person's side, and maybe I'm missing something. But more than likely, I don't feel like I am. I feel like I've got a pretty level head on this kind of thing, um, growing up the way I have. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, I'm going to get off here. Uh, probably no thumbnail. I'm just going to upload this the way it is because I, I want to get it out there while it's fresh. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, are you excited for Wakanda Forever? Um, you excited for Phase 5? Um, and uh, yeah, just I don't know how to put this, but uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time. All right.